Hi everyone. Um, I think it's kind of hard to present after such a smart speech that David just gave, but I'll try. My name is Zaria and I came all the way from Kazakhstan. It's a Central Asian country um, and in the heart of Asia. Uh, I'm going to talk about media and it's a great thing that before speakers they were talking about it a lot, about fake news, about how individual becomes a media basically. Not only outlet that we have but any person now with digitalization actually can be a media itself, himself. Um, where should I? Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm the founder of uh, This Step Media Outlet, very progressive, unique, that creates stories every day uh, for um, young people, millennials and Generation Z, they call them. Um, we inform every day, but we do it in a different way. We're not a regular newsroom. So this is how look, uh, our outlet looks like. Um, and today, actually, it's uh, our second anniversary where we turned two on 27th of April. So. <laughs> we publish, uh, we're only online because print is dead, we believe. And we are everywhere, in social networks, emails, and everything. Um, we publish interviews, we create videos, uh, we are giving information in a way that our audience will be interested. For example, storytelling is a, uh, is a huge trend now. That's why we are giving any information about any company or any person in a way of storytelling. But not only, we do have tests, infographics and everything. Um, so here's our statistics so far. We're not, as, we're not big, but not small anymore. And this is our audience so far. And since that time, uh, from April 2016, we published 2,228 unique, written from scratch articles. Um, and I'm going to talk about, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I have a team, I started, as I said, two years ago with a team of two, and now we're 25 people working with me. Um, all of them, the average age is 20, and they study journalism, and they follow our guidelines that we have. We, like yesterday we talked with Donnie, he said, um, uh, we have a guidelines, huge guidelines, like a book. But as I said, oh, we do have it too. And now they follow those guidelines. Uh, where we speak truth, we're free, and we want to be very creative in a way we're doing, creating information. Um, but the trends, as I said, I'm an entrepreneur myself, and those trends in media, they actually are similar to what probably you're doing. I'm sure here's, you are, uh, not all of you are interested in media, but these trends can help you and your brand to progress. There are four of them. First, it's building loyal relationship between brand and your audience. Um, we have a huge community. Uh, the step is considered to be young, as I said, and people who are reading us, they criticize us sometimes, but they love us. Why? Because we reach them, we answer them. Um, we answer them any request, and also the community is not only, I would say, uh, uh, with the readers. We attract all the creative people, for example, videographer, photographers to work with us, and we're building this bridge between them. That's where they are loyal. And for your brand, for example, nowadays, huge brands like Microsoft and everyone, they're looking towards this because people are the source uh, that will help your brand to develop. Video format of storytelling. We're creating everyday uh, videos, but um, it's important to understand that creating any video is not okay. You have to give a good picture, you have to give a good content in it, 
and um, this is the way it works. And there should be some public, like a producer or someone else. It doesn't necessarily mean that our videos are expensive, but we worked on details a lot. And breaking dependence from social networks. As you all know, Facebook has changed its policy. And actually, the step, as I said, is pre presented everywhere. We have Instagram account, Facebook account. But we understood that we should grab attention on our own website, because Facebook changed a lot, and then we're, we're trying to, and any media in, our, in the world tries to figure out how to work with this audience. But then the question is, how can we grab audience attention on our website? That's why we're creating different stuff, like for example, for example um, we produce games as well, so the reader stays uh, and looks for us, looks for us uh, through Google directly. Uh, and also native ads. It's a huge trend now. Um, I'm not sure who, like um, in media, not all the media, they have th those projects, but native ads are our main focus. And actually, we earn money from them. I'll, I'll, let, I'll tell you later how. Yeah, and as I said, 40% and more, more than 40% are not from social networks. That means we build this trust with our audience and they look for us directly, as I said before. And about the community, we are about, we don't care about the quantity. That's why we don't produce a lot of news. We only publish what interests our audience, and we try to understand every time what they like by asking them, discussing, and so on. Um, so the main concept of this step is when I, when I, as an entrepreneur, I was thinking like, why we don't have any resource that gives truthful information, not just saying that this person is successful because he is successful. Like when you open Forbes, you think like you want to find more information of how she or he built this particular business. And that's why I thought, why there is no outlet like this? So far at that time, we had no that, that kind of source. And I'm always looking for niche what is free. So um, now, our audience is interested in business and startups particularly. But we don't do like, you know, we don't just to say, oh, the startup is amazing. No, we're just giving more information to the, to the audience so that they will switch on their critical thinking and choose. And there is one major thing that all uh, and interest peop people interest people. And whenever you build your own brand, think about people. And by telling, um, by taking interviews, and we have actually a huge amount of, um, the, the, this rubric is the most popular, I believe. Science and technology, no one before in Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, there are 18 million people. It's similar to Moldova in terms of, because we're from the same Soviet countries. But um, we're huger, and, but, no one before us wrote about scientists. Like, why? They're the same. They have maybe same interests, but no one cared about them. And now, we are the only source that supports them. And basically, we, try, we, we are the bridge, as I said. We communicate some institutions with those young scientists to work with. And design, yeah, I'll show you more. So as I said, startup stories, success stories, are very popular nowadays, and I believe in Moldova as well. So this article had 300,000 views. Imagine how we change society by giving them ex real examples of successful um, brothers. Uh, here's our famous filmographer. He's, um, people love him. And that's why we wanted to actually share his story. And design. People are very curious about what others doing. It's like a gossips, but they, they, they like or they want to see what is hidden. They want to enter someone's flat. So we were thinking, like, why don't we show like, any person how he lives? And this is very popular as well. And as I said, scientists, and actually this is our ch chief editor. <laughs> 
Okay, so money part. Money is it's very interesting. I would say we're the best, we're number one in um, Kazakhstan term in our niche, and we yeah we do we earn money legally, uh, and this is how we do. We have partner uh, partnerships. Um, banner ads don't work anymore in Kazakhstan, like in, especially in our uh, segment. Uh, we just like five percent of our money that we um, earn. Lending pages, usually um, the partner programs that we're doing, we usually create something extra. We're not a regular newsroom, we're creative, and that's why whenever client approach us, they understand why they're paying us. They pay us for our audience, because it's a quality audience, the audience that can pay and buy any product that they want to sell. Um, and native ads, uh, we call it jazz because it's in very interesting to do. Uh, we're like an agency that creates it. Um, so average price of our article is $1,500. And we do create like t 10 to 15 per week. Um, so here's our example. The Air Astana is uh, one of the um, one of the, I mean, it's the major a airplane company. They approached us, they said, we want to work with you and we want to create something. Can you do that for us? I was like, yeah, okay. And so we did this experiment. It's very interesting. But we, don't, we never forget about audience. We'll never post any paid um, um, material if our audience won't be interested. So whenever we create with our team, we think, what ins interests people? And then we promote it. And the native ad, it means hidden, let's say, um, ads. But we don't hide that it's paid. And we, because audience trust us, we always mention with whom we did this partner partnership. Tests with Uber. Uber approached us, they said we want something interesting. I was like, yeah, okay. And everyone were participating and people are okay with that. They know that we, are, we were paid. But um, because test was interest, interesting, they participated in it. Microsoft. Um, I'm not sure about Moldova, but in Kazakhstan, it's very popular, like, you know, women empowerment and everything related to that. So we tried to find uh, um, girls that are, that are in STEM, and we created very cool video about them and why they're in tech. Um, and KSL, I know you have Moldsell or something? like a telephone operator. Um, okay, so they found out that we are giving advices what to read. And they approached that they say, we want to buy this rubric for a whole year. Can we? Because we do have bookmate service that allows people to, um, you know, you can read books, download from it. And since this rubric is very popular, we know that we'll get the, those views that we want. And your audience can actually be a client of our service. Then we were like, okay. So actually, it's a very great initiative because what we're doing, we're educating our audience to read more. We motivate them to do so, and that's why this partnership was like long-lasting. And huge banks are our clients as well. So this bank, Bank of Astana, they, they said we want we've produced cards, Wonder Women. What can you suggest us? How can we sell it? And we as a team were thinking, like as I said, women empowerment is a, a, I would say vital topic now. Um, we were saying, well, why don't we find a um, girl that, or, or stories that will inspire other girls? So when you scroll this um, um, article, you will find a clickable um, 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 thing where, uh, so where you can download or, or request this card, Wonder Woman card. Um, and, and brief thing about how does media change, and actually with digitalization, as I said, print is dead. And if you are thinking about creating media yourself, it's pointless to print because it's very expensive, as I think and we believe. Um, no censorship, be independent. Um, and with, with independence in terms of digitalization, any media outlet, any person can spread the information. But we as a media outlet care about the fact checking and stuff. We will never produce um, something that is not checked. But, um, and 
video and audio formats become vi viral. Um, in Kazakhstan, videos are very popular, but post podcasts doesn't, don't work. Yet, in US, it's very popular format to do. Um, and and for me, my biggest accomplishment so far for these two years was to merge two big, um, I would say, the be best uh, number one in their niche, the step, with the um, Kazakh website Batabar, that is the same, but has sh bigger audience, and it's in top five of Kazakhstan by statistics. We have two million uh, users, unique users, readers, reading us. So now we merged, and it was a big thing for media market in Kazakhstan. Sorry, short video about. Sorry, it's in Russian. Yeah, and there is no sound actually. Here's our new logo, and that's my context. Thank you. I've actually been asked to rush this thing, so I just have one question. You said during your presentation that you don't focus on the quantity of your content, you focus on the quality, and you focus on giving your audience exactly what they like. My question is, how does that change them? How does that change anything if you're giving them exactly what, the, what they like? The point of media is to, to, to show people what they don't know, isn't it? And uh, by giving them what they like, you're just assuring them that they were right, or am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong, because we should respect our um, readers, and I believe our readers are very progressive, but at that time when we created the step, there were no media that was you know, reflecting their interests. Like, as I said, we have newsrooms. Oh, by the way, I have my own time, so we won't rush. <laughs> we still have one minute. <laughs> So, and yeah, um, of course we should change society and we're changing, but we're not giving yellow news and it's vital for us. But um, as I said, if you're respecting your reader and understanding what they want and no one gave them before that, you are the one who will give them what they want. So, um, yeah, and, and it's not about like um, just giving only what they know. No, of course no. We, we do create, we, we try, we, we experiment a lot. We're giving different, uh, for example, if you are okay with just press um, or published article, so we're thinking, oh, that will be boring. Let's do a test or a video. So we're changing formats. So basically they knew that it can happen and it can be. But again, um, they never knew, for example, it can be as creative. You know what I mean? Okay, so uh, is your goal to, would you say your goal is to more, more to educate or to entertain? Uh, edutainment. So basically we, we mix it. So it's called edutainment. Okay. We, we understand that educating all the time, it's a bad thing. We're not an institution. We understand that we'll have less people reading us because, you know, um, just educating is boring. Um, then we add entertaining part and we understand that they can actually consume some information um, with the creative approach. I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank having you. me.